Alright, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at yet another wonderful mod, this time in the form of EVAOK, -okay, which is being made by forum user WRC Subbers, and what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a safety measure so that you don't accidentally send your Kerbal on an unplanned EVA while your rocket's in flight. And oh my god, I cannot tell you how happy that makes me. I have lost an incalculable amount of Kerbals to accidentally hitting EVA rather than IVA while in flight. And now, thanks to this mod, I can make sure that that doesn't happen ever again, and it's beautiful. Now, first thing we're going to look at here is, of course, while we are in the Kerbal Space Center view, we do have this lovely little button here for EVA OK, and this is the configured override button, because if you do still want to send your Kerbal on an EVA, even though you shouldn't, you can overwrite this whole system using write control, and you can set this key to whatever you like just by hitting this button here and then selecting your key, and you'll be good to go. And it'll save it in an exterior config file so it'll always remember your choice, which is quite handy. But yes, yeah, so if you do want to override the EVA OK failsafes, you use this key right here. So let's just close that up and, uh, launch a little aircraft to show you how this all works. All right, this one should work just fine. And now, while we're on the launch pad for this craft, we should be perfectly okay to actually go and send any of our Kerbals on EVA. So you can see here we have both EVA and IVA buttons as always so that we can, boom, get Jebediah out there and it's all good. We're all happy, everyone's good. There we go, back in, but if, say, we launch the ship, let's throttle up, there we go. Now, if we go over the Kerbals, you only see the IVA button. There is no EVA for us to accidentally click. Sure, we can go into IVA perfectly fine, which is quite handy, uh, but we can't accidentally send our Kerbals to their deaths. Unless, of course, again, you want to by holding down the control key as I've just done. So you'll see here the EVA button has come back and if I release the control key, it goes away. So it is a toggle when pressed. So we have to actually hold down control to make that button stay there while the ship is moving. So when your craft is in atmosphere, it must be landed on the sea or on land, preferably of course, and traveling less than 10 meters per second. If it is traveling less than 10 meters per second on the ground, you'll be able to EVA. Anything above that? Oh no, you, you can't EVA your Kerbals. For safety sake, this button will not show up. Now, if we put ourselves into orbit, let's say, yeah, there we go. Boom, gotta love hyper edit. Right now, we would be perfectly fine to actually EVA our Kerbals cause well, we are in vacuum and our ship is throttled down to 0%. Now, if we have any sort of velocity, I'm actually gonna have to add some more fuel here. Ah, uh, you gotta love hyper edit. There we go, beautiful. So right now we can EVA cause we're in vacuum and throttle is at 0%. If we throttle up, the button goes away. If I throttle back down, there's the button again. So you have to be basically stationary, or at least not going any quicker for the EVA button to show back up. But once again, if I throttle up, there it goes, throttle back down to zero, the EVA button is back. So the only times you will have the EVA button in the game, thanks to this mod, is when in atmosphere, landed, and traveling less than 10 meters per second, or in vacuum, when throttled down. All other times, the it automatically locks the EVA button so that you cannot accidentally kill your Kerbals. Though, of course, if you still would like to, you can hold down control and release them into the ether. Oh, poor Bill, he's holding on for dear life, but, um... <laughs> 
Yeah, he's fine. There we go. Excellent. He survived. Good job on... Oh, no, that was Bob, actually. Good job on you, Bob. Good job indeed. But yes, that is the uh, EVA OK mod. Not exactly a whole lot to talk about with it, but it will save your Kerbal's life's a lot, because I'm sure, like myself, a lot of you guys out there have probably accidentally clicked EVA when you didn't need to, and now you can prevent those accidental EVA deaths. So yes, that is going to be it for this episode today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed, and of course that you do come back for the next, and actually I forgot to tell you, as usual, link in the description for the mod if you would like to check it out. But yes, that is going to be it, my friends. Uh, come back for the next. I hope you have enjoyed and have a good one.